Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Grind. I'm your host, Mr. Germany Lover. Well, hey, I'm Mocha Lover right now. And what we are doing, an economy that is made up of certain people that are not here uh, voluntarily. But some things have got to get done. Now, my goal right now is as much as I would love, I would love, 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 love to have thought crimes, a ban on books, expanding the Ananerba. I do want to get rid of uh, this thing here. Uh, where is it? Industrialization level change. Economic stagnation, because right now, Economic stagnation. Really bad word sucks. So, factory Poland. Yes, please. But right now, we do have a couple of war goals to do. And have some good time with Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Belarus. Everyone's favorite countries in the world. So, uh, let's give it about five seconds so we get more organization. Five. Okay, that's enough time. Army interoperability. Oh, yes, please. Now, unfortunately, we have no um, way to have, like, a uh, Polish puppet. But, oh, well. Oh, did we just win that? Oh, look at those militias they have. How many have we killed off? Only 2,000. Not even 2,000. Now 2,000. It's not enough. More. I want to see. Can we take zero casualties in this battle? Or this war, I should say. Yes, we can. I got some false book planes, which is kind of weird since... I don't remember giving them planes, but whatever. I love quick wars. Actually, who owns this? Who is this? Oh, Bel... Belarus. Uh... Not sure if I understand why you own that, but okay, whatever. Got some research to do, got some more things to build. We need, yeah, this whole economic stagnation thing. Pretty bad, not gonna lie, it's pretty god awful for us. But, oh well. Uh, we could get that, but I'm really interested in that for now. It is 55, of course. Anything here? Nope. Anything for industry? Nope. Anything for naval doctrine? Probably. Actually, we might need, do need to do our naval doctrine eventually. Um, 50 carrier hull, might as well grab the next one. Because we have six research slots. Uh, uh, confiscation of wealth. Do we need more? Mm, yeah, tungsten, definitely, tungsten, definitely, definitely, definitely. Region wide integration, we'll come back later. Constructed chemical factory, doesn't really do much for us, anyways. Oh, restore order to France. Oh, yes. Uh, support the Adolfsburg, um, the Waltungsrat, which is at war with the Free Russian Movement, so we'll try to get up there as fast as we can. Uh, Oblast, so these guys, Soviet Republic of Ukraine. It's probably a good idea for us to take these guys out as fast as possible. Just before these guys, the. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, who is struggling quite a bit with Transvolga. Um, before they can do too much against each other. So 100,000, 1,000 manpower. 24 divisions max. Why do they have so few divisions? Well, regardless, I think it's time for us, for us together, to take out some Serbian Chetniks? No. Socialist Republic 1, huh? Oh, where's our anti tank? It's up here. Cool. Yeah. Militia? Didn't even have a chance. And that's okay with us. We have 1.4 uh, stability, stability. Political power every single day. Very nice, very nice. I wonder if we go to Riga, maybe. Ah, beautiful, my friends. Oh, this is glitch. God dang it. It's just because we're missing our... T uh, anti oh, support equipment, actually. Support equipment, huh? Actually, what do we have on our divisions? Who's... Cavalry brigades. Ah, they have support equipment on there. And military police. Maybe we shouldn't throw that on there, but whatever. Come on, you got this. Ah, there we go. I got some more rifles, though. Might have gotten a few pieces of uh, support equipment, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Three. Oh, how's it? Do you have anything for us? Early auto loaders are very nice, too. Two. One. Why is it so bad up here? Let's keep moving, keep moving. Don't, don't worry about attrition and stuff like that. Is it just bad supply? It is bad. It's barely bad supply. It's barely. Get out of here and then take out Belarus and take out the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. I think that'd be pretty nice. How strong are these guys? 20 divisions, mostly militia. A lot of manpower, though. A lot of manpower. But that's okay with us. Um, Kamilkia Rebels, Don Cossacks League, might as well. Oh! Nice. Well, good luck, Italy. Very good. And come back down here. Oh, Novgorod Soviet Republic. Are you a puppet of somebody else? Oh! It's a Socialist Republic of the Belarusian Soviet Republic. Medvedev and Pantelamainman Ponomarenko. Factory Poland. And we can't do this one because we cannot have Mr. Himmler here. Or economy. Also, we have some comments to go through as well. Aryans must produce, yes, but shoot stuff of credits, which we do lose quite a bit of political power, which is pretty bad. 0.3 is a lot. Undermining the Reichsmark. Um, we do get better consumer goods, and Max Factories and State does go up. We lose stability here, too, but an ultimatum. Labor crackdowns, huh? A new economy. 
Um, remove co apparent corruption. Encourage. Wait, we have corruption here? Need of unrest. Yeah, we'll get rid of that eventually. Minorities here, whatever. Uh, apparent corruption sucks. Hmm. Labor crackdowns. Ah, oh, shoots off of credits. Why not? Let's help us out. There we go. That's a lot better for supply and such. Oh, there goes Adolf's bug. That sucks. We'll get him back eventually, though. I promise you that. Now let's go on in. We got some better signal companies. People's Socialist Republic of Albania is finally finito. Goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, they're mostly just militia. I am not super concerned about that, so. Um, anything else around here that we really care about? SB Heavy AA. Oh, we'll get some of that. Naval module is nice. Very nice. Post War Artillery, Heavy SP Art. Yeah, we're just missing a lot of stuff. There we go. Now we can go in here, too. Not bad. As long as it can't pierce us, that's the most important thing. Getting a lot of territory here. There you go. Secures his leadership. All right, whatever. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. Still can't see this, which sucks, but whatever. And Vibetsk should fall relatively soonish. Actually, how many planes do we have on here? Oh, we got plenty. Nice. Very nice. And I don't want to use infantry. Even though we have more than enough manpower for everything, but still. So I don't want to use it. Keep going in. Oh, they went to war with Odenstadt. Oh, no, no, no. I should have annexed them first. Basically, we got these guys done. Nice. How can we help them out? Starting SS Odenstadt's? Oh, restore order to... Oh, awesome. Restore awesome. Yeah, that'd be really good to do, actually. Oh, oh, are they actually winning? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Can we actually help him out? Oh, we can't just not block that thing. Actually, who can we go to war next? Ah, uh, yes, over there. But, Ukraine is next. Well, it's looking quite bad now. Oh, God. Oh, well. Undermining the Reich's mocks. A new economy. Ideological enemy. Unpaid labor. Unmatched on land. Yeah, we can do this stuff. I, I can really just wait. Acquire workers. All for the bomb. Thought crimes. The second Gleichschaltung. And towards paganism. Ooh. Esoteric Germania. Germany's future. This is Odenstadt. The new coronation. Aryan Empire declared. Ooh, insane. That sounds like fun, too. Um, I kind of want to just keep going this way, though. For now. And the Reich's mocked. Go, ask Banat. Go, Banat, go. A wee bit ahead of time. By wee bit, I mean a lot ahead of time. Come over here. I'm sure an intelligence agency that could do stuff, but whatever. That was a really good experience for Hauser and his generals. Oh. You're a very aggressive, Kingdom of Italy. Benito, why are you so aggressive, man? Then again, I guess we could ask the exact same things of us, but whatever. You're a puppet? No, not at all. Oh, Eichmann. Lovely, lovely Eichmann. Oh, this restore awesome, too. Military police? Great. Uh, Field hospital because he can. Hey, welcome back, Austin. So we don't have to deal with this. Hey, Fritz Weckler. Chemical warfare. Oh, yes. Oh, they did a lot of this stuff already. Create Slavic factories. Oh, look at that. Handling our enemies. Oh, that should definitely help us out with the resistance and stuff too, right? So we don't have to deal with it. That did help out maybe a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I think for... I wish we could get more output and stuff. Chemical stuff, why not? Not bad. So I'm trying to rapidly restart the economy as fast as possible, but we'll see where we end up. Like always. Like always. Come on, Benet. Keep winning. Oh, you're doing so well. Oh my gosh. Benet's actually winning. I think Dunehammer gaming play is Benet, but I have yet to. At least at the time of this recording. Nice. 
Restore Ukraine. We need a lot of places here. I wish we could see how far we are with this war, but whatever. Undermine the Reichsmacht, which now we only get some political power. Flame throwers are nice. Encourage industrialists. And ultimatum with industrialists. Yay! Support weapon threes. Keep going in, guys. You're doing great. How many people have we lost in this theater? Less than 500, so that's pretty good. I'll be honest, that's pretty good. We definitely need early mobilization. Economic stagnation is so bad, though. Muzzle brakes. Um, grab that. Oh my gosh, Banat actually did it. Banat flipping did it. I definitely have to play this nation someday. Follow the SS. The SS stays. German experts? Germany in chaos. Oh. Banat stands alone. Total autonomy. Banat pride. Um, You know what? I might force these guys to actually go down one of these routes. Yeah. Germany's fallen. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. We might just annex him. We'll see what happens, yeah. Ah, Ukraine. Thank you. Now, we're still order to France, Ukraine. We don't want the Banat with us. Demands are immediate subjugation. And it's going to hurt them a lot because they don't have a lot of stuff to do that. So, store Ukraine first. Ordenstadt, Ukraine. Freitag. Oh, Fritz Friday, huh? Nice. Absolutely wunderbar. Communitarian Republic of India, huh? Transvolga. And... Nobody, okay. So now you guys have to go too. Ah, it's the entire group. That is fine. Ooh. You know what? Let's call it the infantry. I can do with this group over here. You guys will focus over here. Take Tula very quickly. And we'll restore order to France eventually, too. I want to annex them. Is there anything they can do? You know, I'll, I'll, let's wait for them to finish that focus first. Setting SS Odenstadt. Banat and Gottenland. Hunt and destroy. We got a little bit. Um. An ultimatum. Oh, would you look at that? Come to Kiev. Uh, Don Cossacks. I think what he did, right? Yeah. By the shoot stoppers orders, industrials around Germany have been herded into a single chamber. Reichsführer SS Heinrich Kimmler entered the chamber and presented them a single ultimatum, saying that the traditional way of business has ended with a new shoot stoffel era. Then he ordered the guards to enter the chamber, saying in a calm voice, guards line them up, or line them up. Um, there's a lot of stability. I don't want to lose my political power, that's fine with me. Line them up. Ignore our problems. I love it! Yes, just ignore them. Nice. That's going to help us out. Oh, that does help us out a little bit. Look at that. We can actually trade for stuff now. Wow. Go flip and figure. You guys should be fine. Can we go to war with these guys too? No. There we go. I wonder when we're going to go to war with them. The infantry's going to struggle a little bit more, but that's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Get more army XP. More air XP. You know, all the good stuff. Besides, they're only militia, and our guys are pretty good anyways. We're going to get 1.1 pickle part every day, which is not bad with 0% stability. Oh, look at this. Yes. Ukraine. Thank you. Push all the way in, guys. Three. Go. Two. One. Nice. Very good. Gotta do this before these guys come over here, too. So all I got was rifles from that. Wow, that sucks. Sucks, bro. That really sucks. Ignore our problems in Germany is a Garian. Industrialization level will change. Highly industrialized economy. Um, it's good for research speed. 10% more. 10% more research, uh, resource efficiency gain. Well, honestly, going to a semi-industrialized is not bad. Hmm. We'll see. Support weapons are nice, though. Grab that because he can. Grab that because he can. 
Nice. Ah, yes. Let's ignore the problems. Require more workers. We don't need that one yet. Unpaid labor. Um, a new economy? Why not? We're going to need people that can move fast through here, so. Boudoge. Very nice. Get ready for the War of France. Because they are... Patron autocrats. Alright. Nice. Any more planes at all? Interceptors, fighters, yes. Wartime cast is okay. There you go. Go there too. You guys going in? No? Man, you guys suck. Onega? Right, go here first. A new economy's done. All that extra political power. Labor crackdown. Legal corruptions. Um, well, th because this one needs Heinrich Kimmel to be current leader, we'll go this this way. Because it makes, I think, in my, my mind, it makes a lot of sense for him to crack down on corruption. Maybe not with Hadrish, but at least for now, it seems to make more sense, at least for me. Um, anything we do here yet? I'd love to go to early mobilization, but whatever. Since we got this, we do both these. And we want to restore Muscovy and eventually, but it's going to take a while to do. Whatever. Onega, Arkhangelsk. Should take everything away from the, what the Soviets can eventually employ. Which, the Soviets are not doing well. Don't get me wrong. Odenshot Austin looks amazing, though. How much more do we have? Oh, Melmi. Melmi? Melmi. Nice. We need more Melmi battle tanks. We need a lot more stuff of everything. Makes up for guns. Guns are fine. Guns are pretty easy to acquire. That's special forces training. Grab the next no, don't grab the next one yet. Grab some more naval stuff, maybe. No, actually we're pretty good at naval stuff too. Hmm. There we go. Now we're gonna need Muscovine. Well, we're not gonna have enough political power because we're gonna go back down to zero soon. Oh boy. Cancel Lendlees, what do you mean? Send German support. Oh. Alright. Also in Ukraine, huh? Alright, cool. Actually, we can do this one before. Oh, yeah, let's do that one. And we need to invade Norway, too. And I want to go to War Sweden as well. Okay, but, welcome back, SS Odenschat Muscovine. Lebat and Hebert Ernst Vell. Nice. Very nice. Yes. And we don't have to deal with any of this stuff. Labor crackdown, so be it. Remove corruption here. Um, National Socialist Industry. How about Waffen and SS political divisions? In our unending war against the forces of Judeo Bolshevism, there are mental fronts as well as physical ones. The thoughts of our citizens need to be safeguarded from against Zionist mental derangement. We need designated agents of the state who will devote themselves to upholding ideological coherence among the general populace. Now we can call in our allies too. Wait, what's that nuclear research thing? Wait, what is this? Nuclear research? Does that do anything? No? Okay. We better come into the war. Let them kill each other. They are definitely struggling against each other, which is awesome to see. Nice. Just have a little political power. Point nine on every day is not great, but whatever. So I gotta go to war with France. Ah, we got quite a few options here, which is good to see. I love having options. Uh, air doctrine. Might as well field hospitals. Oh. And a little bit ahead of time. Can we? Is it? Do we own this? I guess we do, huh? Weird. Let's get this guy done first, though. Mr. Lipson. You go straight for Astrakhan. <laughs> uh, someone says we should do 
Uh, Thousand Week Reich Speer next, or even Goring. And some people said, don't even forget, don't don't forget to si do not sideline Goebbels as well. So we'll get there. Ah, oh, yes, Kamilkia. Yes, please, thank you. Yeah, we'll do. I think I played. Sh I think I tried. Originally, when this mod came out, I think I struggled with Speer. I don't know if it was actually. I think it might have been bugged. I remember playing as Goring, the fat man, once, but. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Introduce it as a Kampf Grupa. Get some more war sport, get some more command power, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, Strangeheim. And someone says, YouTube loves my titles and, titles and thumbnails, and yeah, don't sideline Goebbels. Probably not a good idea, too. Something from attrition, we all must go in then. Oh my gosh. Must be a lot of attrition here, too. Einsatzgruppa. I love the Einsatzgruppa. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in as fast as you can. We won't get to this as fast as possible here. Grozny. My cop. Kraznodar. Mountain Republic, thank you. I think sending infantry down here, or tanks down here is a really bad idea, but should be okay. Can't go to war with Georgia, which sucks, but whatever. But, that's why we have a lot of wars. To enjoy ourselves. Okay, just go straight for Baku. Ignore, ignore everybody else. If you can. Ah, basically anti tank, yes, please. Straight to Baku, please. Ah, yes. More than enough fuel now so for everything that we need. Good. And begin heading over here. Nice. 1.2 is not bad. Many rifle lands, yeah. At the same time, when they're done, they'll do, do that anyways. Alright, so with that in mind. Aryan culture movement. How about some thought crimes? It's not enough that such an actions be made illegal. Never even thinking about committing such actions will constitute a grave danger to the well-being of the Reich. We'll have to strain ourselves to prevent our citizens from veering towards the dark corners in their minds. Oh, they need our help. They need our help. Um, you know what? Is it really just a poor government again? I don't really want to give up on it, though. Where, where is it? It's right here. Estes Kefauver? Alright. Happy 60, 57, everybody. Slow ahead of time, but I don't really care. And you? What's the naval doctrine? Why not? Fleet and being. Base strike. Whatever. I'm going to war with indigenous people, huh, Mexico? Nice. Who the heck are you? Never heard of this person in my entire life. Then again, I guess I haven't lived that for that long, but still. Get some millies. 100%, there you go. Key point bombing is nice. Finally positive on the political political power spectrum. Got some heavy... Oh, these are cruisers. Heavy cruisers, huh? That's weird. Alright. Steinbrick. Brink. Carriers. I guess that's the only one we could have made. They should be light cruisers. They say they're heavies, but they should be lights. It's gonna be a while before we can make anything there. Sucks, but whatever. Um, I want to do want to go to war with France though. Tactical bombers might as well. Good demand rifle lands first. Caucasine. Uh, thought crimes. How bad on books? Our top analysis, I have concluded that books pose a unique danger to the well-being of our citizens. Non-approved literature may induce feelings of discomfort or self-doubt in the emotionally vulnerable. To protect our citizens' sensibilities, we need to ban all books that might lead them astray. Thought crimes. The mental capabilities of a singular, ordinary citizen are much weaker and much more vulnerable than the collective minds of the Aryan Brotherhoods. In the fight to destroy our Reich, they will be targeting individuals. They will attempt to corrode the mental space, to implant delusions, and to purge us of our Aryan intelligence. If anyone is found of giving us over to their false promises, it will prove a loss of Aryanhood. Never forget, Aryanism can be taken away just as easily as you were born into it. 
Uh, knowing the existence of concepts such as uh, deeds and the beliefs is not a crime, as are the creation of this document. However, on the part of the citizen, it is unjust to think of such concepts without first presenting them in a negative light. Pragmatic analyzation, as you know it. While in some rare cases it has been proven useful, it is also their greatest in instrument of mental degradation. The time is now to reconstruct the foundation of one psyche. Pragmatic analysis tells us to review every piece of something before delivering judgment. Such an ideal is inherently flawed. What if, for example, you are reviewing something, say in an idiom, and the more you learn about it, the more it can control you. While you analyze it, it analyzes back. If the shoot does not cover how to deal with something, that something will come to deal with you. A shoot stopper will be taking into its own hands and delivering a punishment for speaking as if the thing one speaks about is not already wrong. In the case that you think of something, unmentioned by both us and them, you will suppress it. If you do not, before you can begin even to question, they will have you twisted your ideas for their own purposes. There is danger in that voice in your head. You will never not leave you to yourselves. Such is life. And Georgian surrender. Apparently, the state of Georgia is a nation of ignorance, foolishly refusing an ultimatum of returning to unlawful lands. With the efforts of peaceful diplomacy fail, we have no choice but to retake what is rightfully ours by force. Great. Oh, that doesn't make any sense, but okay then. I'm not on land. There isn't a single military in Europe that can withstand the combined might of the SS. Or Grand limited us beneath the heels of a jackboots. Uh. What did we get? Did we get this tile? Oh my gosh, the USSR actually died. I think it's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, you know, I have to use Cossack Lands occasionally, but at this point, I think I'm just going to use, uh, a uh, Diplo. I'm sorry, but like, we, they said we were going to go to war with them anyway, so. Let's go in. If you can win, that's great. God, I hope you can win. be really sad if you couldn't. Oh. Okay, then. Tbilisi, nice. Batum, Batumi, Sarkakisin, nice. We'll, we'll do that when these guys are done. And I want to order to France too. Nice, good job, guys. So can't see that though. Uh, hey, got more, more anti-tank. Great. I can't believe these guys died to the Trans Volga and Novosibirsk. Holy crap. Kudushev. Oh my goodness. So now this is why I wanted to wait and get you guys over here. All the way, basically, to Spain. Let's do the Caucasus first. I don't want to do that. Those resistance fighters. And let them go on. Oh, there's us here. Well, whatever. And Caucasus. Or Caucasus. That's just Caucasus. Herbert Baca. And oil field of the Reich. Well, even though we took everything here first, I guess the USSR couldn't really get here in time to get stuff. Local shoot stuff. Oh, we love that. Slavic labor. We love that. Austin Adventures. Oh, we love that a whole bunch, my friends. Oh, Georgian land transfer. We got more political power that way. Nice. And we're gonna deal with it now. Yay! So now we can we can annex them eventually, but I want to do a restore order to uh, France. Uh, we can help them out, but I don't really feel like it. And we're almost there. Ban on books. Yes. yes. With all national, socialist related and improved literature being reclassified as official documents, Heinrich Kimmler has made a strong statement against any non-governmental literature of all genres, stating that the errant of superior genetics meant superior intellect, making all forms of additional literature useless and having the potential of being turned into propaganda of Judeish, Jewish Bolshevism. Heinrich Kimmler has declared a total ban on all genres of leisure literature, officially prohibiting citizens from owning unauthorized, non-work-related books, except for state-issued literature and documents. This ban has heavy restrictions on citizens' leisure writing, banning all forms of diaries and leisure writing pieces. While gangs of fanatical shoot-stoffel youth are now storming everyone's houses for illegal books and engaging in mandatory book burning, the SS has generously allowed some forms of personal writings to be kept if one desires. The only step requires is to hand these forms of writing and diaries to the SS, then wait patiently for an appeal process that would take a minimum of uh, five years. The area does not require degeneracy. We get a little more political power. We lose quite a bit of army XP and consumer goods. It goes down. That's not bad. So it goes down, but whatever. I don't want to do this one yet because this is going to hurt us. But heavy 24-7 surveillance stuff. Um, we could use a few more of that stuff. Wow, look at that. Wow. Where did we get all the political power from? Wait, what? 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 Was that from the Battle Books? I did not read that severely. Oh. Expand the Ananaba. The Ananaba has done plenty of good work for the Reich. It's only fair that we should reward the contributions to popular Aryan culture with additional funding and resources. They need more money if they're going to unravel the mysteries of the human condition. Ah, 24 7 surveillance departments. A little more supply consumption, but nothing that, cons uh, that logistics companies cannot fix. Yes. Get ready, my friends. Uh, invade Norway, we will go to war with them. Yeah, let's go and get that one done for now. I guess we could have done this one too. 
Oh, whatever. Oh, who's here? Oh, look at Henry Kimmler. Oh, we love Henry Kimmler. Oh, Reinhard Hedges, even though we purged him. He's still available, huh? Oh, Henrik Müller is good for political power, local resources, and stuff. Um, that's not bad either. I like that a lot. Call Honka. These guys are all great, but I won't go with Henrik Müller just because it gives more consumer goods, and we can really use it right now. American spot plane detected. Our radar has detected a U.S. recon aircraft violating our airspace. Well, this is clear violation and warrants a response. With the civil war raging on, escalation with the Russian powers may not be advantageous. What should we do? Attempt to shoot it down? Oh boy! What if we were to save and cause all so so many issues by saving right now? Hey man, you're over our airspace. Get out of here. Well, since we're here anyways. Do that too. It's not a great thing, but we'll still try to use this. Let's get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Even though we really don't have enough... Support equipment, motorized, main battle tanks, APCs. Good God, we need so many things. Unmatched on land, and expand on an ABBA. Nice. Um, an ideological economy? Sure. Why not? We'll get some more uh, oil. Some more fuel. Hey, economic recovery is gone. 1.15. We're actually building quite a bit of stuff now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got some more millies because we could definitely, 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 definitely use them right now. Yay! Go in! I love it when the French are backwards peoples. Anything else here? Eh. Yeah, get, get a rifle. Let's just call it rifle. That's it. Wow, that's really sad. Attack ones. Oh, refueling. Yes, please. Uh, let's get some more tungsten in, too. Or we just do this. There you go. Nice. Not bad overall. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Shot down some attack subs. Some subs over there, too. Oh, yeah, we're training our soldiers, too. Oh, it's my bad. Whatever. A uh, Russian People's Republic. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Are we going to unite? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, kill Ziggurat. He's not doing very much right now. War against Transvolga? Eh, might as well. Oh, oh, we got, oh, we got the French state. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty darn nice. Occupation of France. What do you do here? The dust has settled. The majority of the, uh, uh oh. Uh, hostile forces in France have been disbanded and disarmed. The flag of the GGR is flying proudly in the towns of France. With France finally pacified by German might, the future of France will now be decided by Germans. While thousands of Germans are now celebrating this great triumph, groups of ministers have gathered in Vichy, the provisional capital of occupied France, drafting a solution to the French nation. While dozens of plans have been surfaced, there are two prominent plans to, to settle the French question. While one group is advocating for a united France, the other group seeks to utilize the Breton nationalists as a means to divide and administrate the French nation. Divide and conquer. Direct occupation. I'd love to do direct occupation. Maybe in another campaign, but like, we'd have these guys uh, already doing stuff over here. Uh, divide and conquer. You know what? Why not? Let's divide and conquer. I almost never choose this one. I honestly don't know where we're going to go next. Maybe go here? I don't know. Maybe not. The Transitional Administration of France. Ludwig Ruck Deschel. United Resistance. Oh boy. And we have you over here. Nivon Hennoff. Cool. Oh, yeah, you guys next. Ananeba. Cool. Well, train on ports. We can't wage an effective war against the forces of Zionism if we don't hold ourselves to a higher standard. It's not bad, actually, but we wanted to do this one first. Um, line artillery attack. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Over here, recon's not bad either. Ground support. Yeah, I'll go this way, land. Because, let's see. You guys are in the Toronto courts, which means we have to navally invade these guys or go through Finland first. They're guaranteed by the US of A, though, which sucks. Question of French administration. The occupation authority of France has managed to stabilize German leadership in France. While local collaborators are calling for a second French regime, some factions within the NSDAP are calling for a Reichs Commissariat style government to be installed in France.
The boundaries of the French administration must be determined by the Germanic government. While we can restore the old Vichy regime boundaries, we can also ensure the unity of France by only demanding minor concessions on the border or take nothing at all. Vichy borders? Take nothing. Where are they at? They're in Vichy. Do we really want to deal with this stuff? I don't really want to deal with it that much. We'll take border provinces. There you go. There we go. That's a little better. We should have enough equipment for most stuff. Artillery is not good. Main battle tanks are not good. But what else is new? Organic surveillance. Even more supply consumption. Uh, mathematical revolution. I want to do this stuff. But I want kind of want to wait first. Uh, let's do Gothenland. They submit. It is a joyous day, as our men are being greeted by the colonizers as we enter the capital of the SS Ordenstadt Gotland. Most of the natives despair, as they know that things will get harder from here now on, as they should be. This has made the government fervent, as this recent victory has left their mouth sweet for more victories. As the top brass and the army cheer the soldiers on, both some members point out that with our entry, entry violence against Germans increased shockingly, but these worries have been quieted by the cheers as another Reichskommissariat joins the Reich. Only time will tell if these worries will be taken seriously. Another day, another victory for our brave sons! Do we get them? Oh, has that been at? No. This one's been at. Hmm, weird. Oh, they submit. It's a little joyous day. Um, I think this is just the exact same thing, except this is, uh, or it says orange shot been at. Yay. Which, I think might be bugs. It's not doing anything here. Yeah, this is, I think it's bugged. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah. Confiscation of wealth. Oh, oh, oh. This actually only does it for a few days, for 30 days. Oops, my bad. There's no point in doing that one if it's only for 30 days then. My bad. Yeah, we don't get it, which is really weird, but whatever. Uh, we're going to throw these guys, because I do want to go to war with those guys. We're going to go to war with Sweden, actually. They're guaranteed by the Finns, which wouldn't be too bad if we could naval invade them. So we really need to focus on our navies a little bit more. As we're focusing on more on economy, the Malgon papers, whatever. No one cares right now. Um, I might just use Consul Command and just go to war with a lot of these guys. We'll see what happens. Just because Hungary, Romania, Slovakia, I think they all need to be taken down a notch, you know? I think, I think I would like that a lot. I think that'd be great if these guys could be taken down just a little bit more. I'll do nothing there, an ideological enemy. We decided about doing this one. And we might do a few more off-screen, such as what? Ministry of Speak. Loyalty points. Cultural movements. Uh, I'll get more population. Naval, let's do naval street stuff. The Kriegsmarine served the Reich well enough for what it was capable of, but no longer useful for our purposes. It always had a bitterly adversarial relationship with the SS and the Heer. As such, it needs to be dissolved and replaced with the SS-aligned naval force. Every branch of the SS Kampfgruppe will be holistic and interconnected, so that no such factionalism will emerge. And then we'll probably do this one to National Socialist Industry, which looks great! Alright everyone, so, right now we are doing Air Corps of the Waffen SS. Just as we need to rule the land and the seas, the SS ought to reign supreme in the skies well. The Luftwaffe is no longer reliable because they'd align itself with Goring. Like their beloved leader, they are all craven opportunists. We need a new Air Corps that will have the integrity and the high standards the SS is known for. Pretty good. That was a really hitting our uh, naval doctrine pretty darn hard. Um, if we're going to do 1960 stuff, we might as well just go and do this stuff as well. Might as well. We're really trying to get some more naval stuff out, and I really want to make sure we get these some super heavy battleship hulls. Um, I'm focusing a lot on secondary on stuff like, like this. Get some aircraft facilities, and we can almost make the ship. Uh, let's go with more anti-air. It slows down a little bit, which I hate, but whatever. Getting some super heavies would be pretty nice. Not super useful. Yeah, they are useful, but they do slow us down quite a bit, which sucks, but whatever. Um, if you need to do that, thank you. Do we have any more ships that are training? Yes. Oh, yes, we do. Some more, basically, light cruisers. But, get some carriers going, maybe. Got a cruiser hull going. Um, yeah, we definitely got to improve this thing, too. So, whatever. It is what it is. Get some more infantry and throw them on there. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Air yeah, cool. A Bothan SS Helicopter Corps. Helicopters are a relatively new technology, but our engineering advisors suggest their future of the air combat. One way we could distinguish the SS Air Corps from the Luftwaffe is to be to heavily invest in these newfangled vehicles. The people of Europe will learn to stand in awe and fear when they see our black helicopters die in the sky. I don't know why it would be. And rightfully so. Uh, we could do surveillance stuff. Send German support. Yeah, I did a lot of this stuff already here, so I'll do that one. And let's head to early mobilization. Now we should get a lot more. We're building some dockyards. Uh, we're building some uh, military factories as well, which we obviously, obviously absolutely need really badly. Uh, we need way more tanks. We need a lot of things, actually. Go and grab a lot of this, too. Odenstadt uh, Caucus? Yes. So good. So good. What after this one? Um, the auxiliaries. Ooh, it's not bad. Oh, war support. No. Overgrown officer corps. We can get rid of that. 
Negative one rust. Oh. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt us that badly, actually. Max planning's not too bad. Um, conquest of the Greater Reich Decisions. I do want to go down there and see what we can do with that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, we can send a lot more German support down here, which is fine. Uh, sure. You can help these guys out. Why not? And a lot of times they don't have cores and stuff, but we'll do unpaid labor next. Mandatory volunteer factory work decisions unlocked. Cool. Um, anything over here? Pair drop agility's not bad. I don't think we really use pair droppers too much. Uh, ground support's not bad. Unskilled pilots kind of suck, so. But whatever. Those shoot stuff with privateers. You raiders. Ooh, that's not bad. We get a lot more subs. Huh. Naval speed. Not bad. As is Kampf modeling, which looks pretty good too, but... We gotta keep doing some of this other stuff. The cultural movement. Ministry of Speak. Yeah, why not? There's a real intangible power in words. Language is a weapon. It has to be controlled, lest it be used against us. Which would not be very good. Now, um, I do, I do want to get the conquest out, just so we can see what we can do about these guys. I would love to kill these guys off. I really want to kill them off. But, and we also can go to war with Norway, but we really need a navy for that. And our navy is just nowhere near good enough. So, yeah, that's why we're building up some more dockyards and such, too. 24 is not bad. Let's come over here, get some radar, get some anti air, get some of that, too. Nice. Get some carriers going as well. I think that'd be pretty decent. Pretty swell, if you do ask me. Uh, ooh, another tank division. It's good to always get more tanks as well. Even though we are severely depleted right now. Um, yeah, these motorized. Twinning combat is probably not the ideal width, but we don't have a lot of equipment anyways. APCs are down, tanks are down. Yeah, overall, this is just okay. Maintenance companies. Yeah, I can do that one. That's fine. Tanks. Get some maintenance companies on these guys, too. We can really use them on there. And logistics. As much as I want logistics... Recon. I like the recon. But if we're using recon, we gotta go recon tanks. Or at least motorized, but let's wait for that stuff first. Alright, culture movements. No. Ministry of Speak. That one first. And then assault concentration. Yes, please, baby. And I do definitely want to help out our guys down here, so. There you go. Nice. Because right now it's looking pretty bad, probably been at and stuff. Yeah, it's not looking great. Ukraine. Oh, it's got it so bad in front. Um, actually, no, Ukraine doesn't need help. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh, that's us. That's still us. So that's not Ukraine. So let me know. Should I annex these guys? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why do these guys still exist? Gotenland, I'm talking about, as well as Benat. And we literally share a border and look so bad for them, but still. Should I just directly annex them? Should I use God's commands for that? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your opinion on that. <clears throat> We're actually looking pretty good here. Keep making the ships. Mass strikes. Nice. Because it just pretty much just industry building time. Recovering from the horrific German Civil War, of course. Uh, what else can we do here? German Civil War, this is... Oh, yeah, Benet definitely needs that. Uh, Bertagna, do you actually need that? No, they don't. Let's do that one. I don't want to waste political power, so... After the Ministry of Speak... Um, auxiliaries... Germany is a Garian? We could try that one. New Greek leadership, of course. Industrial le industrialization level will change, which hurts our research people. We have so many research slots already. I don't think it'll really matter too much, but the Ministry of Speak hopefully gets some sort of event here. What is speech? Only the shoot stuff has that answer. The noises and screeches of our throats and tongues transform into communicable sound, not only what they may seem on the surface as, but also to us, to prevent them from destroying our society. <coughs> Excuse me. The shoot stuff will protect our families. To prevent them from disguising themselves as ordinary working men or housewives. The shoot stuff will must know how they speak or how they hide their traces. The shoot stuff will, of course, will know. Our nation is, is under siege. But those who would destroy it, it is under these conditions that the Schutzstaffel is establishing the ministry. While our strong Aryan families will go about their daily work, bettering our nation, the ministry will protect you. At points, you may discover machinery, the purpose of which you do not fully understand, or you may hear voices where they should not be. They should be there, and they are. Please do not hinder the ministry's good work. Nothing will ever be out of the ordinary. This is ordinary. You understand. Sometimes you may experience delusions brought on by them. They will be corrected. These delusions vary from misremembering small details to hallucinating false people. Uh, things may feel confusing, but when you are at your darkest, the Shoestoffel will be there for you. The Shoestoffel is here for you. The SS is here. Never forget what we could do. We will never apologize. We will never not apologize for our minds. I'm so, so sorry. But, submarines. Nothing here. Yep. Hey, those 1959. Oh, wait, that one. Okay. Fighters. Better fighters. Nice. Definitely gonna need more resources. Um, anything down here? Yeah, I don't want to do this one because it hurts your supply consumption even more, which is really bad. It gets better stability, encryption, resistance target, and resistance activity chance, but... Uh, we're going to do it anyways, probably. Uh, so much. 
And I'd like to go to partial mobilization if we possibly can. It'd be interesting to see what happens here, though. Germany as a Garian. Because it really hurts the military and civilian factory construction speed. We do lose cons quite a few consumer goods. 15% is pretty bad, too. We do get some more resource efficiency gain, but still. No, no foreign minister here, huh? So after Germany as a Garian. I do want to rush down here. Knights of Germania sound like fun, but do we get coup loyalty points? Huh. Loyalty points. And we're going to get serious about ensuring the security of the Reich citizens. We need to regulate the minutia of their everyday lives. The Führer has proposed the creation of an ambitious social credit system. The people need to understand that living is an award, not a right. Because we can. Well, we... Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay, so we lost 25% research speed. We lost 20% resource efficiency gain. We lost 5% recruitable population uh, factor. Wow. We gained 20% consumer goods. We have a gear and economy. Cannot remove. I thought we were just going to go semi-industrialized. Holy crap. Minus 15% military. Um, I'll be honest. I mean, we're building. It's not bad, but... Holy crud. This is not good. But eventually, we're just going to conquer what we need, right? Right. Uh, you guys... Um... Thank you. Oh, you have a little bit? Nice. Yeah, we'll take that too. Great. Get some synthetic refineries. There you go. Get three of them at a time. That's good. Um, yeah. Did not expect that to actually happen. Surviving this stuff. The SSVWHA. Well, let's go and do the auxiliaries. Uh, yeah, why not? One of our armed forces have both quality and quantity. We should recruit more of often SS auxiliary soldiers while tightening our standards. No one will be able to withstand a combination of superior training and numbers. Not a bad idea. Pus Pulsinella's game. What is the SS, if not a faithful servant of the Aryan people? The Schustoffel believes in us all, and it believes that we have the power to continue its quest of strengthening the Reich, even if it is not wholly present. Aryans are social people. We have the mindset that encourage us to behave ourselves and to further our standing unlike them. It is because of our mindset that the Schustoffel has entrusted you. Oh, oops, my apologies. Let me go back and get that uh, reading. My apologies about that, but it is because of your mindset. Or um, our mindset that the Schutzstaffel has entrusted you, the ordinary citizen, to check on and report the behaviors, mannerisms, personality traits, and psychological tendencies of those you encounter in daily life or elsewhere. You graciously accept such an opportunity. There is a number assigned to you and you only, and there are others for your family, friends, colleagues, and any other Aryans of the Reich. The number is you. Treat this number as your own limbs, or as you were recently born infant child. Status and social standing have always been difficult to understand and difficult to measure for ordinary citizens, but the SS... And its mercy has decided to present to every Aryan of the Reich their position in the universe. And nearly good deeds, such as participating in community service, exceeding work quotas, reporting to the Schutzstaffel, supporting the Reich in all of its endeavors, and placing loyalty in our Aryan Brotherhood as a top priority in life will increase this number. The Schutzstaffel not, has not wasted the time creating a list of wrongdoings. If you are not actively aiding the Schutzstaffel in the Reich, then you are working to destroy it. The number is entropic. Stagnancy will only make it worse. The number is yours, and yours only for an important reason. To be loyal to the Reich is to be willing to overturn them, even if they have disguised themselves as colleagues, friends, or family members. To be loyal to the Schutzstaffel is to realize that they were never your colleagues, friends, or family members. To not do so would endanger the number. The number is the Reich's black guard, and as such is willing to take away or destroy if it is not satiated. Watch your infant. The purpose of punishment is to teach. We will never not beg the forgiveness of the merciful. The cradle has tremors. And I don't remember which one we did, but let's go ahead and do... Oh, uh, we can do this one. Why now? What if our armed forces have both quality and quantity? We should recruit more buff and SS auxiliary soldiers while tightening our standards. No one will be able to withstand a com combination of superior training and numbers. And I apologize about that whole misdoing there. It's my fault. Um, I thought I would pause the game, but the game had other ideas. Oh, partial mobilization? Yes, please. Um, professional standards? Yeah. Professional set standards. Given that the SS is the most professional fighting force in the entirety of Europe, we need to start acting like it. So, from here on out, I think we're just going to beeline for the Nets of Germ Germania. And see how much we can conquest, because I, I want to conquest a lot, obviously. Like, I feel like I'm just going to start using cons commands and just take out everybody. If you think I should, let me know in the comments below, because I am... I'm a little okay with, uh... Just going to town on everybody as best as possibly we could. Even maybe America, maybe invade them, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. If you, if you can come up with a good name for the intelligence agency, please let me know. Like, we're just going to call it, like, Waffen SS. Let me know if you can come up with any better names than that, because my names are... No, they're alright. They're not great. You guys generally come up with better names than I do, so. Construction Trace. Nice. Concentrate industri Industry. Yes, please. Bill, 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 because the Reich has got a lot of things to do. Oh, the Russian People's Republic declared one Russian People's Republic. Nice. As long as the Russians killing each other, not us. Uh, that's, that's what matters. 
Uh, battleship, battle cruiser. Let's go battleship level three. Nice. Level two is all right. Radar, fire control two. Get some anti air. Get some heavy batteries. Get some rooks. Get some float plane stuff. Get some more anti air. And end with a secondary battery. So you're not too slow. There you go. Auxiliary. Professional standards, my friends. Professional standards. Not just any standards, but prof professional ones. Early helicopters, nice. Scout helicopters, um, let's grab over here. I'd rather grab like a better carrier hole, maybe some better subs actually. Uh, cool, we're pretty much done with all that stuff, which is kind of weird to think about, but okay. Yeah, we're gonna do 1960 stuff. Uh, mass production, batch production. I don't get more base, let's get more base. Um, Bertagna doesn't need it, these guys don't need it. Gotland doesn't, I don't think they need it either. Caucasine. Caucasus don't need it either. But Nat definitely needs this. Ukraine, did the, the Ukraine needs it? That's looking pretty good to me. Well, I guess the Caucasus can use it too. You don't need that either. Cool. Because currently we get this much. So, to do this one, we need to complete Aryan culture movement, which is going to take some time. Tobias, Graf, but we gotta go get Tobias. Yeah, we have to. Do some of this too, very, very nice. Still building plenty of things. We could use a few more millies as well, though. Boom, boom. Thank you very much. Professional standards in the blind loyalty. Loyalty to the blood and the vault must come before all else. Anyone who challenges the ideological coherence of the SS will pay the ultimate price. As they should. Oh, yeah, just a time. Nice. I'll probably do shoot stuff with Volunteer Corps. Yeah, that one's not really worth it. Hmm. <clears throat> The war against Judeo-Bolshevism is set to be long and arduous. We need all the bodies we can get for all the human wave charges across no man's land. We won't turn away anyone who wants to turn to lend the country a hand. Pretty much. Ordenstadt, yes. Pay up, pay up. That's fine with us for now. Transvolga, huh? Nice, get that too. Very good. Rubber, you might as well grab more rubber. Nigeria, might as well. Turkey, fine. Actually... That's fine. And Sri Lanka. Make sure we have enough for the war machine. I don't know. We might go to war with the Allies in Toronto Accord still. We might not have enough strength, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It depends how far you guys want this campaign to go. And how far we can take it, so. Region-wide integration's fine. Um, automobiles. Cut up. Still not bad to do. Fuel gain per oil. I do like the fuel gain per oil. Resource efficiency gain's pretty good, too. But then I guess it's Rex Vecca, him and Goring, which we don't agree with, so. So we can't do that one. Archie Fobbin, eh. Go with crop. Something tried and true. Pretty normal standard stuff, I'd say. And honestly, we're going to need a big old navy, but we need to get some better planes. So we need more ships. We need more planes. Um, we're going to get some convoys as well. Cast CVs. Yeah, we're going to use a lot of cast here. Uh, what else do we have here? The Shadow Core. They will come in the night, and they will come into the thousands. They will, we will do our work under the Veil of Darkness. The morning sun will eliminate our progress for all the world to see. Any of the ships yet? Yes. Another light cruiser. Very good. Mm. So we have what? A light cruiser, heavy battleship, carrier, heavy battleships. Battleship. Get more one of these. More one. One more of these. Nice. Grab that. Integrated convoy defense. We're done with all that stuff, which is kind of weird to think about, but whatever. And grab more construction speed. Or, I guess, research speed. And this one. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. That one, too. Good. I mean, we're setting ourselves up to be very successful. Give a few more of this stuff, though. There you go. Mm, yeah, nothing there yet. That's fine. Still building ourselves up. Military staff. Step D thresh. Oh, that's pretty good. Lots of high consumption. But Pal Hauser is pretty good, too, as well. Hmm. What are we looking at? APCs, main battle tank cells suck, main battle tank artillery. We just need a lot of stuff, man. That's all we need. Just a lot of millies. Ah, go down to there. Ah, grab one more of these. Why not? There you go. Cool. Just build, 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 build. No, maybe we don't need to do awesome, but whatever. Shadow core. Visible ink. Nice. Spy master. Might as well. Yeah, since you're here. There you go. We can put them in Poland, but maybe next. New Panzers! Europe has forgotten the touch of our tank treads on its soil. Uh, just over a, year, a decade ago, our armored column steamrolled the continent's decadent democracies into a fine meal like powder. Let's turn on this glorious legacy by building more Panzers. Nice. 
I guess independent formations. Oh yes, please. Concentrate industry probably follow up with this up. Excavation three, which we could really, actually, really, 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 really use. The one thing I do like about Thousand Week Reich, it's pretty fast. It's a pretty fast mod, which is awesome. Better fighter CVs, yes, please. Playing support equipment as well. Cast two experimental helicopters. Go ahead and grab some of this too. Awesome. Another spy. Sophia Vibs. Shadow Core will do new Panzers, and then we'll do expanding the Panzer Good Ideas. Within the SS and beyond the Rex borders, few names inspire as much to on the battlefield as the Panzer Good Idea. The Mechanized PG divisions are among our most skilled and dangerous shock troopers. They roll in real quick and race heck before our foes can react, which is why we ought to tap some veteran Boffin SS fighters to expand their ranks. Yes, please. But, oh, Balbo takes power. Oh, we'll see what he does, I suppose, in the next episode. But, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know, what should we do? Should we use Khan's commands to attack the Far East? Should we use Khan's commands to attack the Mediterranean Pact, or even the Toronto Accords? Should we take out Spain? Let me know what we should do, because, while well, we have some stuff here with the Shadow Corps and other stuff like that to do, and we saw the Aryan Culture Movement, let me know what we should do, or what else could happen, and whether we should go with the SS Odenstadt Germania and the new coronation. Thanks for watching, though, guys, and have a fantastic shoot stuff for the rest of your day.